Yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Armando. Welcome back to another update video, guys. So I know I haven't been doing much gameplay. I'm so sorry about that. Again, I haven't really had time to record those, but I've just been trying to keep you guys updated with what's going on with their frontier. Honestly, 2020 has been the year for these guys to really just put it all together. They've been coming out with the Wasteland route run. They've been coming out with the, you know, the fast speed, the fast travel thing. And overall, they've been just doing a lot of work on 3D that we haven't ever thought they would do in such a long time i mean that that 3d is just due for a huge update and honestly it just deserves more you know 3d is just amazing and we just want the best for it but clayton has recently announced on his server which is no atmosphere if you guys want to follow it uh there it is you should just look it up i'll probably put the server in my link in the description if anything but yeah, this is his uh, server here. This is where Clayton keeps you guys posted. So check him out if you want to know what's going on with Difference here because he's pretty much in charge of 3D. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. So he says, I've decided to work on a basic Trello board so you can get a rough idea for what I'm currently working on regarding Different Tier 1. I will update the first few lists with what is being worked on for each update that I can share. So basically, he has way more in, in, in mind that he wants to do, but I feel like Ammon just wants to keep it a surprise just to keep the people kind of, you know, on the edge of their seat. I will also keep a list of known bugs that I've been able to replicate but haven't fixed yet. This board does not include ideas for designs for future content as that is constantly changing, which is true. Also keeping in mind that this board covers my client work for, for the most part. It may include a few things relating to web development, browser, server elements of the game that have been agreed on, but those aspects are much more subject to change. And of course, we're going to click on this real quick. Give me a second. And here we are, you know, so this is it. This is what he's trying to do. It's a lot of things, honestly. I mean, just it's, it's just insane. I mean, he has so many things planned. And like, like I said, I know he's working on like a messed up code. And I know it's going to take a while for him to kind of get all of this out. But seeing that he has something planned, something, you know, pathed out to kind of give you guys an idea of what's going to happen in the future. It's just, it's honestly pretty good. Uh, many people are losing faith with the game. And I don't, you know, I don't blame them because the game has been out for so long and we need updates. But seeing this kind of gives me faith and hope. <laughs> But let's check the first one, the bandits. Uh, past bandit health values over multiplayer network. Bandit state that, sh that, sh that shoots or throws grenades at players, which is, wow, grenades. I never thought I'd see grenades in the game. So that means that is a good indication that he will be putting those in the game itself, which I kind of feel like he might have inspiration from Killing Floor. Again, I'm just talking out of my buns right now. But, you know, you know, Killing Floor has those incendiary grenades, regular grenades, or those um, that little gas that kind of kills the infected around them, which would be pretty cool, honestly. And of course, we have create NPC after clothing, weapon, and stat info on the server, which is cool. So you can look up someone while they're in the game. So you know how in some games you hover your mouse over them or you hold on their character and it shows up everything they own? That will be cool. Uh, Bandit spawns events added to server side. Bandits will spawn in groups close to one another. So again, if you're by yourself a single player or multiplayer and you know where the bandits are, you can either take them on as a group or you can take them by yourselves. But just be known that these guys will be cut up together. So overall, it'll be kind of difficult to take them on, but hey, if you're that ballsy, go for it. I think I would. I have a race cannon, <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> it would just be fun to take on like three, four bandits at a time with, you know, crazy weapons. And yeah, refractor NPC script to allow them to enter PvP mode, targeting and damaging players regardless of PV players' PvP status. All right. So that, that's that's cool. So even if you're not in PvP, if they see you, they're just going to shoot you. And it doesn't matter if you have PvP on. It'll just be more of a, oh, crap, they're there. I got to be very careful what I do next because I don't really want to lose all my health. So it's also a good way, too, because some noobs, I hate saying it like that, but some new players uh, go to South Bunker or Sacramento Bunker, and then, you know, they just chill the whole time. But if there's banners around, it kind of will hinder their progress because, again, Sacramento Bunker is supposed to be the best of the best, not just anybody can go in there and I said you can start looting. No, 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 no. We have to make it as in like, damn, I can't go there yet because there's bandits everywhere and they keep messing me up. I need the weapon. So that would be a cool way to kind of like scale who's on the bottom and who's on the top. You know, that would be a cool way. Uh, switch NPCs to state machine structure where their behavior is determined by a state rather than multi multiple variables and update loop. This will make it easier to expand on them in the future with unique or varied behaviors. So again, just a thing to come back to just in case he wants to kind of mess with them and have an easier way to kind of like, you know, give the community the one if they want them to act in a certain way. Grant experience to players when they damage bandits, that's cool. Make bandits with death ragdoll a lootable object. Determine and implement what unique rewards bandits provide for fighting them, that's cool. Turn on the speed, bandits track players with their weapons. Create a visual of indicators for bandits' accuracy, bandit target, and when bandits are going to shoot. Oh, bandits running on a cycle separate from boss sponsor players have a choice to participate. Okay, so they become like mini bosses. Ah, oh, that's awesome. All right, so they will show up on the different tier boss map uh, profiler. 
So it is cool, but I mean, I would want for amateur trollers just a little bit of like if there is a giant spider, the bandits would go to them just to kind of like loot them for resources, which I know sounds ridiculous, but I mean, we're in a zombie apocalypse and maybe these giant spiders drop some crazy like, I don't know, limbs that they can use for something or or make something with them. I have no idea. I'm just, again, I'm talking out of my buns, but... It would be cool if bandits and giant spider can fight each other and then if they you know if they're focused on the giant spider you can choose who to fight and it would just be a fun time honestly it would it would make the game a bit more you know immersive and of course we have miscellaneous changes all loot spots drop by bosses and now bandits scale their interaction range based on their size this makes the larger bodies a little easier to loot which does happen sometimes when they die they're stuck in fences and we can't get to them because again they're basically glitched in there bugged in there and we just cannot reach them Infected that explode on death now deal 50% of their explosion damage to up to 5 targets that are within range starting in order to closest distance. Damage numbers indicating damage dealt from an exploding zombie is displayed in orange. Yikes, that's a lot of damage, but it's to be expected. It's an explosion. I mean, if something nearby me is in the vicinity explodes, I think I won't survive as easy as the next guy. But again, we have armor, so it should kind of help out a little. A batch of optimizations for reference audio, lighting, object renders, and object materials. So again, just make the game look a little more pretty uh, and so we can get out of this whole 20... When was the game out? Like 2003, 4? Yeah, let's just get out of that era already. Uh, players now sticks to enemy attack colliders. Zombies can damage players through walls with meleeing, vomiting, and exploding, which is kind of... I wish that wasn't a thing, but it has to be a thing because, again, when zombies vomit, that's acid. You know, and acid would just burn through anything. So it makes sense. And, of course, exploding... Mm. The melee one, I'm not too sure. I mean, maybe? Huh? I don't know. I mean, they do. There's a rip, rip, ripper with like a blade for an arm, so I guess that could make sense. Dog based infecting can hit players when facing sideways, which, yeah, but I hate dogs. Careful with dogs now, especially when the range is going to be bigger now. But again, this could change. It's not 100%. It's just it's something in the, in the patchwork. Uh, some loot spots are impossible to reach them, so you cannot search them. What? Sometimes scoring a kill in arena will spam chat and slow down the game with the kill message. Pop, probably combat tag related. Okay. Removes the majority of the random bodies that can spawn out of you, but can be seen in the enlarged minimap UI. Zed's that to spawn while being knocked back and respond with that old knockback velocity. Okay. Bix multiple props that should have the ability to be shot through. Something is preventing mission specific zombies, non bosses, from spawning in some cases, making it extremely difficult and possible to finish certain missions. Man, I don't know if the, uh, he's trying to fix this in the future. So I, mean, I don't know. Maybe have you guys seen that where there's a titan in the boss area and it's just making it impossible for you guys? Or is this something he's trying to do? I've never seen this before. Maybe he might, but that sounds cruel. <laughs> You're trying to finish a mission and a black titan comes in the way? That was, that was horrible. Fix the NPC name at the second wasteland entrance. It was set to abandon. Oh, okay, that's nice. And of course, known replica, replica, known replicable. So known replicable bugs, AFK invulnerability doesn't mean set properly in specific scenarios. Loot progress is when near other moving players, zombies, and ragdolls. Damage boost formula order being applied to wrong to weapons is wrong, results in slightly lower damage outputs. Wow, there's a lot of things to be fixed here. You can hear other players reloading now. Oh, I'm doing more damage than the remaining experience left on the infected with grand more experience. Wow. Boss loot spots will not return a loot if you start looting him. Not interrupted, try not to loot a try to loot a different spawn, then return to the original boss loot. Times two boss groups always spawn a third of boss after the first two died. The third boss is a little Yeah, I kinda wish she would get rid of that. I, I hate that. I, this is, I hate that glitch because I wouldn't mind if it makes it a third lootable boss. I'm like, oh, okay, now it's worth it. But when it's just there just to uh, like F you over, that kind of sucks. So yeah, these are known bugs. Boss loot sometimes return blood samples if there's a mission, melee and chasing chainsaw weapons cost like a uh, slight performance, really? Wow. Very rarely, the game will be stuck on the loading area menu when leaving an outpost block. Client restart fixes it. Oh, boss that's right to return the regular loot. So yeah, like I said, this is all known bugs. I mean, I've seen them, some of them, but not all of them. But yeah, if we can get all these done, that would be great. So quality of life. Make solo bosses like BTs and MPTs drop multiple loot spots as a reward. Wow, to balance them with other bosses. Private, this is the one I love. Oh man, private lobbies that work similarly to player instance to following, but for groups. So Defrenter 2D had a thing where you make your own lobbies and only specific amount of people can join. You give them the passwords and that's it. So that's why there was still sync issues, but not as much as now because now everybody can be in a server. But here, it's like I can have a giveaway and I'd be like, only the first 20 people can win this race can end. That would be fantastic. Boss loose spots can drop out of an instant boundaries, forcing players to reload the instance and kill them again. Add invisible boundaries for boss ragdolls only. Set players to AFK mode once the search time hits 100% and then wait for loot to be returned from the server. Show the ping of a player in your instance within the... Oh, that's awesome. That would be amazing. I'd be like, yo, where are you at, man? And he pings it. Boom. 
World map GPS. Select the block within the world map menu in the game. These you with a compass. That. Oh man, that would be amazing. A compass to know where the player is or where an area is. Ah. Oh. Use option when successfully finding a consumable. Awesome. Uh, set resolution. Change key binds. Oh man, again, just to make the game look prettier. If we can make this game look prettier. Oof. Oh, just thinking about it makes me happy. Uh, scale UI size with the game resolution of the game. PBR protection for models. And again, just make the just make everything nice. And of course, we have some Unity here. Uh, trying to tell you how it is. And yeah. Uh, but yeah, guys. This is just a roadmap of what he has planned. What he wants to do. I mean, quite frankly, it looks great. Uh, like I said, anything can change, like you said. But just knowing the fact that Clayton has something planned out for us. And these are just sneak peeks, and he, and he has some things he cannot release. It, sh it just gives me faith again, guys. It, it really does, because, again, we've been with Death for so long that I feel like I know Admin feels bad. And I know that people have told him, yo, this game is too pay to win! Fix it! <laughs> and just seeing this will be awesome. I know the game has to be alive somehow, and that is, you know, with some type of pay to win. I get it. We all gotta make that bread. But at the same time, you know, if it can at least do something for the game where it just becomes more immersive more engaging than i feel like i wouldn't mind spending money on this game anymore i'll be like yo screw it. i'm spending 100 bucks because this game is just fun as heck again but yeah guys that's all i got what do you guys think of these future updates do you think they're gonna be amazing do you think they're just gonna be eh? the one i'm looking at is basically the ping and the one with the lobby oh man and of course you know the uh the resolution and the, you know the updated graphics that's the one i'm looking at this it just sounds nice but yeah, guys, I'm on a sending out. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.